Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. If you're new here, welcome and keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Please use your discernment, take what does and leave the rest. But if you do happen to like this message, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this message. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the message you have for the collective energies please? What are the messages for the collective energies? I have the devil in reverse. Yeah. So someone could be recovering from an abusive relationship, a situation, an attachment, or letting go of something that was binding to them. Could be a contract or something. Someone has released themselves from a devilish situation. I have the devil card coming up in the reverse. Yeah, it could be a queen of cups who is releasing themselves from something that was binding to them. Queen of cups speaks of a healer, so very supportive, and could be an empath. So if this person could be, or you could be the queen of cups, um, separating yourself from something that no longer serves you. I have the six of pentacles here. So with this six of pentacles, it's telling me that you let go of something that was not giving you equal give and take but was attached to you not wanting to let you go yeah so it is telling me now you're letting go of that oh, spray paint. Anything, else? anything else anything else thank you yes you're letting go because you have seen i have the hermit card here you have seen things in a different perspective and you're moving alone. You're moving alone on your journey and you're going forward, taking the first step of faith into the unknown. If you look, you can see the star or the sun, but this person is walking towards preparing to leave an old situation. You're either preparing to leave an old situation or you have left the situation, but you're walking away. Because you are doing soul searching and you're seeing things in a different light. You're seeing things, you're more awakened by your surrounding, by people. Just being by yourself, listening to your own inner thoughts and listening to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, anything else here? Anything else you need to see? Anything else you need to see? What's happening here? I have the five of swords. So someone could be leaving conflict, defeat, devil. I have this flipped over, the three of pentacles, collaboration. So someone could be leaving all that attachment to them behind. Someone could be wanting to win at all costs, bullying you or intimidating you some way, some shape. You are leaving all that behind and you're moving on. You're collaborating now with different people, different people who have shared goals, people you could grow with. Give me something more on this Three of Pentacles, on this way. Anything on this Three of Pentacles card? Yeah, I have the Knight of Wands. It's clarifying the Three of Pentacles. So you're moving on with people and you're very free spirited. You're going to be moving on courageously, joining forces with other people towards a particular goal. Okay, give me some more on this hermit, please. Yeah, this hermit, now you've seen things in a different perspective with the hermit card here. And you're making better choices. You're juggling your opinions, your thoughts. You're juggling uh, multiple priorities. It could be with these people, learning something new, moving on to new, well, Two of Wands is here telling me you're moving forward, preparing to leave your comfort zone into something that you've never done before. Could be starting over as a fool or a spirit, anything else? Anything else? Anything else we need to know? Anything for the Two of Wands card? Yeah. Yes. I have the Three of Swords in the reverse. So you're moving on. Mo with the two of wands, you're moving forward, releasing the pain, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, possibly for hurting you or attaching themselves to you, 
not having equal give and take in a friendship or a relationship you're having no self love for your for um for you not just for yourself but for others you're loving yourself more this deep healing physical healing emotional healing psychological healing is taking place now release after releasing all this pain yeah the tower so the tower this tower came because something was built or was building on a faulty foundation some so you have been through an awakening after this tower you've been through an awakening you have seen things differently plus you have the hermit card here is telling me you've seen things differently after the tower so you're moving on collaborating with other people juggling your opinion your thoughts your job your finances you're juggling something yeah at one point you possibly were feeling locked in a box with negative thoughts victim mentality or this could be the other person's energy the person um who wants to have you locked in a box feeling like you're imprisoned you're helpless wanting at wanting to attach themselves to you so much to the point where you're not able to move but give me some more on this eight of swords i have the king of swords so you have mental clarity on this clarity was shared on the situation you now know who you're dealing with the integrity of the person you're dealing with because the swords have to do with the mind so i have a lot of swords here mm, cups pentacle pentacles wands yeah i have everyone here so anything more holy spirit you're moving on you're somehow guarded i have the nine of pentacles coming up in the reverse yeah but you may be at some point or now you're living beyond your means or someone is living behind their means i'm not sure if it is coming up with you or them but someone is their pentacles are in the reverse they're having setbacks right now i'm not sure if it is you or someone else but someone is having a financial setback give me something on this pentacles in reverse, yeah, pentacles in reverse. what are we speaking about what are, speaking, what are we speaking about i have the five of cups and the ace of cups hmm. so some truth and clarity was shared in a situation where now someone is living in a regret not sure who it's who because your energy is feeling to me like you're moving forward you're collaborating with other people letting go of the heartbreak that was caused with someone hanging on to you not wanting to let go but someone is living a regret that they have treated you this way that's what i'm getting they have treated you this cruel or this cold so you have seen a different side of the situation you had mental clarity coming out twice with the, the um, king of swords and the ace of swords on this side so someone has seen clarity of a situation give me something more on this ace of swords the empress yes so this empress i've seen things differently and you are all four queens in the deck someone is all four queens in the deck you're moving on collaborating with others you're the divine feminine very caring nurturing and yeah the chariot is here you're moving on with the chariot um empress you're moving on okay what's gonna be happening to the person in the devil energy what's gonna happen with the person in the devil energy yeah judgment thank you holy spirit that person um got a wake-up call that person possibly is going through their is is um getting is doing is awakening to the entire situation that they created judgment is called on them they are now aware as to what's happening maybe they were asleep <clears throat> as i mentioned with the eight of swords this person was maybe limit limited feeling gagged and bound not able to move forward with this judgment they are seeing things differently too oh, else. yeah they have seen things differently 
that this empress was supposed to be their ten of cups. It was supposed to be their happiness. It fell exactly beside the empress here. And this person was supposed to be their ten of cups. So what's going to be the outcome of the spirit? What's going to be the outcome here? Yeah, four of wands, celebration, harmony, friendship, reunion. So spirit is saying there's going to be a reunion of this re relationship or friendship. There's going to be a reunion. Give me some more on this four of wands, please. The sun. <laughs> the sun. There's going to be a reunion where you're both happy again. There's going to be a reunion. Wow. I might as well just leave it here. But give me one love message, Holy Spirit. One love message. Any guidance you have for us re regarding this situation? There's going to be a reunion. Okay. Two cards, please. What's going to happen with this? Uh, I, I, I get too many cards. I see the one that says, open your eyes. But I'm not taking it. Too many cards for now. Okay. What do we need to be working on? Um, boundaries. It says boundaries. Well, you're going to be reunited. You're going to come back home to each other. But you need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will not allow hmm. it says third party situation other people may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential so this could be the situation with this relationship or friendship so this could be the situation i have here so you have to create a boundary. You might have to create a boundary and learn to remove or not to have third party situation sitting in the middle of a relationship because this is too crowded. The collective, thank you so much again for joining me here at the galaxy with God of Notes. Peace. I leave with you. Goodbye.